My name is Daniela Santos. Um, I did my secondary school studies in Mozambique. And then I did my bachelor's in international business and economics in Lancaster University in the United Kingdom. And also my master's in economics and development at Bath University in the United Kingdom. Uh, I then returned to Mozambique to work. Uh, and after 11 years of career, today I am deputy head of planning, accounting and control at the largest bank in Mozambique. What I am most proud of uh, is the development I've seen in my teams. When you stop to think sometimes and look back and you look at the people with whom you've worked from your teams and that you've managed somehow to teach uh, and to help to develop their careers and you look at uh, where the team was or that person was uh, maybe five years ago and now you look where they are today in terms of their personal development, their professional development, the skills they acquired. When I think that I have contributed uh, even a little bit with my experience and with sharing my story with them and uh, with teaching them the leadership skills that I was taught myself and I see that that has helped them to progress. I think that is what makes me feel the proudest. If you ask me that question, there's not one name that comes to mind. I think there are different women throughout history and even today that I admire in different ways and in different skills. So there's not one woman I, I admire. If you are asking me if there is a person or people that I admire for how they have influenced my life in terms of my career path, then that is a question that I would have to answer with actually two names. Um, from my two uh, bosses uh, slash mentors, uh, both in my first job and in my current job, because those people influenced me strongly in the person that I am, uh, and professionally as well. To the new generation of women entering um, workplace today, I would say maintain the curiosity you developed throughout your university studies. That will help you throughout your work life. Always question what you are doing a question if you can do it better. Always strive to do better, never settle. That drive to do more and to do better uh, will distinguish you from, from your peers. And have a plan on what you want to do, or where you want to be, what you want to achieve as a professional, as a person so that you can work towards that plan and achieve it. Planning for your career is difficult. It, it depends from person to person, and it depends on your objectives, on, on what you want to do. But uh, if you're starting with your plan for the first time, I would say don't overcomplicate it. Uh, don't try to do a very long-term plan, a very detailed plan, because life changes, circumstances change, your plan would change with that, uh, so it's not static. Um, start easy, start with uh, what you want to achieve in the next year. Um, implement milestones for that year small things that you want to achieve in your career during that first year that you are working. Once you've achieved that first year, you will be better equipped to know what you actually want to do and what you want to develop more. And then you can have a five-year plan. So 
move gradually. Don't be over ambitious because then you might just trip yourself up.